Surprise! It's an unboxing and a very special one. As a lot of people know, I definitely uh, don't have the moolah to buy the big buck instruments like uh, the nice like DBZs and such. So, uh, with anything having to do with uh, computer gear, musical instrument stuff or whatnot, I have to try to gauge and find uh, really good deals in how to try to get stuff. So, uh, today I uh, have something that uh, showed up. And... Uh, only two people know one uh, my f one friend in real life and the other person I actually just told uh, just a few days ago so there's only one people uh, sorry there's only one person in the uh, little YouTube community that actually knows uh, what has gone on so uh, with that said the uh, item that I will be unboxing here, um, I placed the order with uh, Tomen, yes, Tomen in Germany, on uh, last Friday the 9th. It went out, I believe, the 9th. Uh, the box showed up here in Canada on Tuesday and as you see here it showed up today Thursday the 14th uh, the items in question in said box cost me uh, with the bit of money that I was able to save up uh, which uh, probably should have went towards computer hardware, but again, the computer hardware uh, items or hardware itself on the AMD side of things is pretty um, pretty screwed up in the way of it's still a lot of older stuff, so I'm just trying to inch it with what I have left in my system until the new AMD Zen stuff comes out that way it can actually put newer stuff in so anyways to quit rambling what I have in this box that will come out uh, cost me 327 Canadian and uh, that included the shipping and the import fees was uh, for uh, duty, uh, GST slash HST, which was thirty three eighty four duty of twelve thirty nine, and a handling cost charge of nine ninety five was fifty six eighteen. So in total, what's in this box cost me three hundred and seventy. 380 Canadian, we'll say roughly. So with that said, enough rambling on. I know people are dying to know what the hell I got in here. So uh, with that said, let's give her an open. Um, also, the box itself is not damaged or is not beaten up badly at all. Uh, it's pretty, you know, pretty decent. So, uh, with that said, uh, oh, again, also, if this sounds like really, really mono ishy, this is actually the uh, default quote unquote stereo microphones in the Logitech uh, C920 webcam. Yeah, you pay $120 for a webcam that has stereo mics, and they're in fucking mono. Duh! Seems pretty fucking stupid. Yeah. Anyways. 
Let us rip her open. Now to be careful of the these stupid big ass staples they use. I got no way around that one. Well, there's no denying that Tolman does a very good job at packaging their stuff. Staple of the hell. And again, what do we see? Tons of airbags. Tons, 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 tons of airbags. So, <clears throat> let to see if there's anything. Again, the box did not come damaged. Yes, that's right. One Harley Benton. What? Ah, 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 ah. Two Harley Benton. And you kind of already see the tags on them, so... Uh, let's move them off to the side here. Again, cool little coloring things. else in the boxes. So, that's right, I have two items here. And uh, again, I'm trying not to be excited, but um, say the two items are definitely uh, replacement items that I was hoping to get. Okay. Allen wrench is stapled to the side of the box. Some other uh, cool little things. And as you have probably guessed it, also one of the fellow um, one of my fellow subs actually has one of these. I believe it's Sam Deeks. And uh, he gave it a pretty positive review. So, so without making these like really long, I'll probably take a closer. Yeah, that's real good.
I don't want to rip the bag. Makes you wonder how they get these things in the bag so easy. So, as you can already guess, silicone things in here, sitting in here. Ah! Anyways, some little schmidt here. This is a brand spanking new one. This is the Harley Benton one D120CE in black. Acoustic electric. Going over the... Uh, this is going to be a long unboxing. I think I'm just going to do a straight, straight upload with this. Not put it in... Um, not put it in... 1080p. So far, every single thing on this damn thing is immaculate. There's no odd cracks, no odd finishing issues. Quality guitar since 1976. So it's acoustic electric. It has, a, I think it's four band EQ. I think it's a little out of tune. Don't really appear to have any sharp edges. Uh, one of the things that uh, what's his what's his name mentioned that the uh, frets are a little rough. Yes, these strings are also corroded, but otherwise, noticeable issue. It looks like a teeny weeny bit of the binding has uh, came off there. But otherwise,
Also, another quick note here, this nut is actually slightly leaning forward. It's not actually straight, so it is a little high, so that is something as well that might need to be adjusted, but again, minor thing. Again, what do you expect for a $90 acoustic? <laughs> so, Will it be better than old blue over here? Yes. Because <laughs> probably all I gotta do is make an adjustment. So there's that item. Ah, uh, da, da coffee, ooh, da. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking of hanging. Now. Heavy bugger. And it is definitely quite freaking heavy. I cannot believe how heavy that is. It actually, this actually almost rivals my agile that I got rid of. That's how heavy this feels. I can't believe how heavy it is. So, as some would guess, or as some may know, rod cover, a uh, junky cord which never can uh, be without, and so of course, as some people might have guessed, Mr. Moss isn't the only one with one of these now. <laughs> I have been dying for a Telegaster for years upon years. So, I now have a Telecaster. And again, like I said, this is freaking heavy. The neck feels lighter than the guitar. So, One fret. People, I thought, said the neck felt thick. Actually, it's a nice feeling neck. The only thing weird on this is again, it's got a, a 14, 14, uh, 14 inch radius fretboard. So, beyond that, looking at the body, the body has absolutely no freaking flaws. Oh, there's a little bit of a scratch there, but that's nothing to it. To, uh, to be a, make a joke about. So, looking at this, this would probably be a one, two, three, 
this is probably a four piece swamp ash body and uh, compared to say guitar fetish it's it's a pretty nice looking body the green on that is really really well matched back has some schmuck here the neck has a nice kind of satin finish uh, the vintage style Cluson style tuners uh, I won't need to go into too much details because a, a lot of people have seen uh, uh, EJC's reviews and toys previous uh, debut of this Four twenty seven two thousand sixteen Jack is what it says there. No, it won't focus because of the light. So it comes with Dario uh apparently Dario XLs. Mm. Pots feel a little rough. Seem to turn fine. Seems like a metal pot. Switch runs fine. Ashley Bridge. Uh, quality check. Uh, the instrument has been checked by our service team. ABSA whatever ABSA is so um, guitar seems to be almost in tune which uh, can be good or bad big issue. So again, Wilkinson's pickup, uh, cheap bridge, which, eh, Wilkinson's pickups. But anyways, video's going on, uh, 20, <laughs> going on almost 25 minutes. So, uh, with that said, I will uh, give these a clean up and uh, we'll get to a little listen better view of them later on today hopefully. Damn flies creeped into the house and uh, so yeah I'll uh, catch you later folks. Hope you have a good one and hope you enjoyed my Surprise boxing from Toman and my newly acquired Harley Benton products. Bye for now, folks.